Welcome to Teacher Access Center IPR Grade Reporting in Gradebook 3.0. This session is designed to introduce you to the Interim Progress Grade Reporting. During this session, we will load Interim Progress Marks from your Gradebook. We recommend you first view Gradebook 3.0. From the navigation bar, choose Grade Reporting, then Interim Progress or click the IPR icon in the course grid. The French 1 course has loaded since it was the last course to be selected in a previous session. Click the Load from Gradebook icon to load the marks. Marks are loaded from the Gradebook. You can add comments and absences if your building is configured for them. Click the free text icon to write a personalized comment. Click the spell check icon to open the spell checker. Save the interim progress report page. As a side note, you cannot print an IPR from the Teacher Access Center. You can print a progress report for a student on a date other than the date predefined for your building. Click the Individual button. In the Individual column, enter a check in the box to choose the student. Click the Load from Gradebook icon. Now let's look at the IPR in the student drawer. Click Tyrone's name. Choose the RC IPR TRN icon on the left. Choose the IPR button in the upper right-hand corner. Choose the interim progress report date that you would like to see. Click the mark to see the IPR gradebook information for this date. We are looking at the student detail report view. Close the student drawer, then use the change course button to select another class. You cannot load marks for multiple classes. For example, German 1 and German 2 must be loaded separately. Once report card marks are entered, the grade reporting icon is overwritten with a check mark. In this lesson, we've learned to load interim progress marks from gradebook, add a free text comment, use the spell checker, and create an individual IPR. We viewed the IPR from the student drawer. For further instructions, refer to Teacher Access Center Online Help or contact your district's eSchool Plus support personnel. Welcome to Teacher Access Center 3.0. This session is designed to introduce you to entering classroom issues and conduct referrals. During this session, we will enter a classroom issue, refer the issue to a disciplinarian, and enter a conduct referral. First, we'll need to log in. Simply fill in your username and password, then click the Login button. After logging in, your home page will appear. From here, you have two options for entering classroom issues. You can click on the exclamation point next to any class, homeroom, or activity, or use the Interventions drop-down menu. The Classroom Issues entry page is divided into three parts, Issue Details, Students, and Teacher Actions. You can enter an issue for one or multiple students from this page. The issue details and teacher actions entered here will be attached to each student. Notice the Change button next to the course name and date at the top of the page. Use the Change button to select a different grouping of students or to change the date. After selecting the Change button, you may change the Issue Date field and select a different grouping of students. After you've made your selections, click the OK button. 
enter the type, location, and notes in the detail section of the page. Then use the plus sign on the right hand side of the student section to add students. On the student chooser window, you may select one or multiple students, then click the OK button. Click the plus sign on the right side of the actions box to add an action. Remember that the actions added here will be added to all of the students you selected in the students box. If you need to add unique actions to each student, you may do so after saving the issue. After saving, the Classroom Issues list page will appear. From here, you may click on any issue to add actions or additional notes. You may also click on a student's name to access the student drawer. Let's refer Caitlin Morgenstern's computer misuse issue to her disciplinarian in eSchool Plus. To get started, we'll click on the issue. Prior to submitting the referral, you may want to attach other issues that you have recorded for the student. Notice the Related Issues area at the bottom of the page. By clicking on the Attach Issue icon, we can see a list of previously recorded issues. We'll check the box next to each issue and then click the Save button. Then we'll select the Refer Issue icon from the Classroom Issues toolbar. Enter any notes that you want to send with the referral and then click the Send button. Now let's take a look at how to enter a conduct referral. Conduct referrals may be entered for any student and will be sent directly to your administrators in eSchool Plus. We'll get started by selecting Conduct Referrals from the Intervention drop-down. Enter the date, location, and any referral notes at the top of the page. You may then add students to the referral by entering their student ID number or by entering part of their last or first name. We've entered Nelson in the last name field and now we'll click on the drop-down arrow to start our search. When the student search list appears, click on the student name and then click the OK button. We'll select Caleb Nelson. Continue to add notes and additional students as needed, then click the Refer button. After submitting your referral, the referral list page will appear. From here, you may click on a referral to view the detail or click on a student name to open the student drawer. In this session, you have learned how to enter classroom issues for students, how to submit classroom issues by making a referral, and how to enter conduct referrals. For more information, please refer to the online help or check with your school district's eSchool Plus support personnel.